Sarah Cormode says she found a tick on the back of her head almost 10 years ago, and within a few weeks, she started becoming sick. And for me, it started with really severe headaches that actually lasted for years, every day for years, and light sensitivity. And then eventually, I had neurological complications, so I was having a hard time putting words into sentences and even just doing those automatic things like putting your car into park. And I was really aware that my brain wasn't functioning, but I, I couldn't, I didn't know what was wrong with me. Lyme disease is caused by a bacteria called Borreala, and Cormode says it's important to check for ticks if you're outside. Places like your head produce a lot of heat. A tick would love to hang out there for some time and feed on you. Other places are your groin, the back of your knees, your armpits. Um, and, you know, somebody even found one in their eyebrow. So it's just good to do a quick check of your whole body. And the other thing is just to be mindful of how you move through when you're in the outdoors. If you're on a trail, it's good not to be brushing up against the long grass that's coming over the trail. The Canadian Lyme Disease Foundation provides tick removal kits just in case you encounter a tick or get bitten. And you want to follow those instructions and remove it from the mouth part. You never want to squeeze the tick because that's going to increase chance of transmission. Cormode says you can ship off ticks to a private lab called Genetics that will take the tick apart and see what pathogens it might be carrying. For Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn.